Okay, welcome to Chemistry 100, gen, uh, Preview General Chemistry. Um, my name is Patrick Lloyd, and I'm going to be the instructor for your course. Um, first, I'd like to um, welcome you to the course. Next, I'd like to give you some information about um, how to get in touch with me if you have questions or comments. You can reach me um, at 347 two four nine five six seven six um, you can text me you can use whatsapp if you have that you can use signal if you use that or even telegram and if you're going to email me please email me at patrick of kings at protonmail.com please don't use the kingsborough address if you try to email me by the kingsborough address um, it might take a day or two for me to get back, but if you email me either at Proton Mail or reach me at my phone, I'll get back to you much faster. Okay. Um, we are going to have a weekly online meeting, which is on Mondays, starting the first week of classes, um, which is March 8th. So Monday at 9 a.m. The meetings will be on Zoom for one hour. Um, to log in, just use my personal meeting ID, which is 761-534-4943. And then the password to get in is meet, M-E-E-T. Um, it is not a requirement that you attend these meetings. Um, I'm just going to go over some problems that are in the course. Um, but it is, uh, you're welcome to join in. And um, I will record each of these meetings and post them to YouTube. The announcements of those postings will be put into Blackboard. It is not a requirement that you attend these lectures. Um, the materials that you'll need for the course, you know, obviously we're doing distance learning, so you're going to need a personal computer, tablet, smartphone, pretty much all of that is the best. Um, you're going to need a browser and Microsoft Word. Um, and a scientific calculator. You will need a scientific calculator. The system that we're going to be using is called Alex, A-L-E-K-S, and that will essentially have everything in it, all of your homework, all of the material that you're going to be learning, the homework, the exams, everything is on Alex. So you'll need to purchase that. It's $85.00. It is also valid for the next course in the sequence, Chemistry 1100. You get a year's access, so it's good for that one. It's also good for Chem 12 if you're going to go on to take that course as well. Okay, so Alex, just to show it to you, is right here, alex.com. So what you would do is you would go to sign up as a new student if you haven't used it before. If you have used it before, you can just log in and go from there. Okay. Um, you also need a chemistry textbook, um, but when you get the Alex, there's a free ebook that's included in the Alex system, which is called Chemistry Fourth Edition by Julia Bird. So it looks something like this right here. Um, and here it's loading up. So all the material in this course, all the material in the next course if you take Chem 11, and all the material in the next course after that, if you take Chem 12, it's all included there as an ebook, and you can access all of the material there. Okay. Um, you do want to have a Zoom account, so make sure that you create a Zoom account. Um, right here is um, an instruction on YouTube on how to create a Zoom account. Um, you can also get a physical copy of the ebook of the textbook if you want to find that i would just recommend going to bookfinder.com and you could do third edition fourth edition fifth edition third is the cheapest fourth is intermediate and fifth is the most expensive um, there is a separate video that i'll post for signing up for alex but for your course here are some of the details on how to do that your main thing you're going to need when you create your account is my class code. This connects you to the class that you're taking right now where I'm the instructor. And so when you type in that class code, it will link you in to this particular section of chemistry. Okay. Um, make sure you use that code and not an older code. Don't use a code from a previous semester. Um, 
There is a two-week financial aid access code you can use, which is right here on the next page. You can just copy and paste that in. It's good for two weeks. So essentially, if you need a little bit of time, if you need a week or two to get money together to buy the Alex, then you can use this code right here. It doesn't give you any extra time, really. It just, use, it just allows you to access it for two weeks. Okay. Um, obviously, you need Blackboard for this course, but really just for um, the course syllabus and for um, announcements. And the announcements will be emailed to you at your Kingsborough email address anyway. So we aren't going to be using Blackboard all that much. We'll be using Zoom for the meetings, YouTube to watch videos, and then Alex to do all of your work. Okay. Um, here's what we're going to cover. For this course, just three chapters out of the textbook. We're going to do an introduction to chemistry. Chemistry is chapter one, the central science, the first five sections. Chapter two, atoms, molecules, and ions. We'll learn about the different materials that are used in chemistry. And then we'll do really some serious chemistry calculations, which is stoichiometry, ratios of combinations, sections one through seven. The ebook is useful in that it has um, not only text, but it also has problems that you can work on. So, for example, if we go to section 1.2 here, classification of matter, there's our little discussion of the material, right? So, this is going to teach you about the topic that we're covering with some pictures and some text, and that's very helpful. Now, if you go to the next section, you'll start to see problems. So here's a sample problem, sample problem 1.1, right? So this right here will actually give you some practice doing some calculations. And you want to practice these, the sample problems, okay? With each sample problem, they give you the answer and they tell you like how to do the problem. Then they give you a practice attempt, practice problem A attempt. Try that too, and then the answer's right there, but you're going to try that on your own. Practice problem B, same thing, you can try that on your own. Practice problem C, you can also do that. They don't give you the answers there, but you can try those as well. Those are for more for conceptual understanding, okay? So you'll work through all of those problems. This is really a problem-solving course, and you'll see on Alex it's a lot of solving problems. So you want to make sure you give yourself as much practice solving problems as you can, and the way you do that is by reading the text and then going through and trying these sample problems. Okay? So that's the ebook. That's one very useful aspect of the ebook is how to learn the material. Okay. So this is just discussing what I just went over. Um, and then here are some videos on YouTube that I've created. These are essentially problem solving videos. So, for example, here's one from chapter one. Okay. There we go. So chapter one, the science of chemistry. So notice what I've done. I've actually worked through all the sample problems from chapter one, and I've posted them here as short videos for you to watch. There's also actually a few little lectures in here as well. Okay. And then some extra problems down here. A couple of them are from Alex, that sort of thing. So. Um, plenty of videos for you to watch. Of course, you don't have to just watch my videos. You can access any videos that you find helpful. But I am doing the problems that are in the textbook, so hopefully that will be helpful for you. And as I said, they're broken down into folders for Chapter 1, Chapter 2, and Chapter 3. So, you know, lots of problems there to help you go through this material. A little discussion about Alex. Alex is um, actually your, it, it actually says 95% here. It really should say 100. I don't know why it says 95. It's 100% of your grade. It's all of your grade is based on Alex's work. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to do homework assignments, which are called objectives. The terminology is objective, which is your homework assignment. So there's one for chapter one. And you have to be able to do 28 different types of problems. And there's a due date, so notice the due date. That's a fixed due date, so make sure you have all 28 topics done by then, and that's April Sunday, April 4th, so you have quite a time to do it, but um, you want, want to do like maybe about uh, eight topics a week on average at least, okay? 
Then the second one is Sunday, May 2nd. That's the due date for that. There's 24 topics from chapter 2. And then on June 6th, chapter 3, 25 topics due from there. Okay? So each topic is a type of problem. To demonstrate mastery of the problem, you have to be able to do it three times in a row without getting anything wrong. So it will be a lot of effort there. And so it's a lot of problems. It's a lot of problem solving. Okay? The problems in there are very similar to the textbook. Not identical, but very similar. Okay? So there is, there's due dates. There's also what are called knowledge checks. So after you finish chapter one and you start re getting ready for chapter two, it's going to actually have you do a little review of chapter one to make sure that you still understand that material. And then there'll be another one at the end of chapter two. Okay? Um, there's also three exams. So the first exam, you have a, a period of time to do exam one. It's covering chapter one. You, it becomes available on Sunday, March 21st at midnight, and you have until Friday, April 9th to complete that exam. So just make sure that you have it done by April 9th to get credit for that. Um, same thing with exam two. It comes online March 21st. Um, and it, it goes off on Friday, May 14th. So make sure it's done by May, May 14th. And then the final exam covers all three chapters of the course. So it's a little longer. You'll have more time to do that one. Um, Sunday, March 28th is when it comes online and it goes all the way through June 6th. So if you want, you can finish this course early because the grading is the objectives. Those three objectives I went over there. So if those are all done, and the three exams are done. Like in theory, you could have the whole course done by March 28th. That would be hard. That would be difficult to do that. But in theory, you can. Okay. So, but the final deadline for the final exam um, is June 6th, which is also the due date for um, the chapter three, the third homework assignment. Okay. Course grading is based on this. 75% is the homework assignments, so those chapter one, two, and three, and then the three exams. So the first exam is worth 5% of your course grade, the second exam, exam two, is worth 5%, and then the third exam is worth 15%, so that adds up to 25 for the exam, 75% for the homework. The grading based in the course is 85 to 100 is an A, 70 to 84 is a B, 50 to 69 is a C, and below 50% is an F. And you can use this little formula here to figure out what your overall percentage is. You just take 0.4 times whatever your Alex Pi percentage is, plus 0.35 times your Alex objective average. This will all be in the gradebook of Alex. And then add 0.05 times your exam one score, 0.05 times your exam two score, and 0.15 times your final exam score. Here are some links that you can use if you need some technical support. Obviously, there's a lot of technical and technology going on here, and that's pretty much the syllabus there. It's a relatively short syllabus, but we don't have a lab component to this course. We're just doing homework problems and taking exams. Okay, so good luck in the course. Reach out to me if you have any questions. And um, I hope it goes well for you. Hopefully you can join me for the lectures on Mondays. But if you can't, that's fine. Um, if you can't do that, then maybe you'll be able to watch some of the YouTube videos.